Okay, so it's Saturday night, around eight o'clock. We're at Walmart in the storage container. I'm looking for some items to, some um, items to store things in. Um, I did get one, and um, I need to go get wipes and a few other things. So, I dropped the kids to school, then I noticed that my back tire looked a little low. So, it seems like it's always happening in the rain. Like, this is the second time I had to come here and get here in the rain. But I'm doing all right. Um, I like these machines because they just do the work for you. I don't have to really read nothing. The machine just does it. So... In a second, I'll be back to my proper tire pressure. So I went inside sheets and got this little quesadilla. I don't think I ever had a quesadilla from here before. So hopefully I don't regret this purchase. But we're definitely about to find out if it's good or if it ain't. So I'm immediately pissed off. Look at this sour cream. This look like water. This is not cream. This I use sour cream all the time. It doesn't, it doesn't shake like this. August. Got a turkey wrap with shredded cheese and Caesar dressing as his favorite. And he said that I need to show his food as well. <laughs> Is it good? Uh -huh. mm, mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so, silly. so, uh, we just say the quesadilla was great. Um, surprisingly, besides the. Besides the water slash sour cream that I didn't use, it was good. Otherwise, um, <laughs> so it's raining out here, and um, I don't know what we are going to do today. It's only ten o'clock, literally only ten o'clock, and I got. Four to five, well, four hours for one, five hours for the other to pick up. <laughs> so I don't know what we're going to do. I'm letting him just have fun. Playing on the steering wheel because he thinks he's driving. You know, just stuff to just keep him occupied. Anything other than wanting and crying works for me. So, um, yeah, I don't know what this day is going to do. How this day is going to be. Um... I would go inside like a store and just browse around, but I don't, I just hate coming out in the rain unnecessarily, you know? Like I would go back in, but I don't like to drive back there because it's quite a distance between where we're staying and where um, this, you know, this side of town where the school is. Really auggy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh no, Joe. <laughs> Stop parking at home. You're scaring people in the parking lot. You know what? <laughs> Whew. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in my storage unit. I am so hot. Like, it was colder this morning, but I wore my jumpsuit, as you can see. And this is like a fall um, fabric for real. But anyways, it's hot. I am sweating because I was in here looking around for stuff in my storage unit. I was trying to find these pants um, that I've been wanting to wear and just couldn't figure out what the heck they were and come to find out they were in here the whole time. So I finally found them along with a bag of stuff that I want to wash for the kids. It's just like a couple of like spring outfits and um, not really spring outfits, but stuff that August could fit now. He, he moved over into a 3T, um, a little bit into the 4T section. So I was getting some of that stuff out and... Um, you know, just kind of looking around and guy. But I'm so glad I found them day one pass, y'all. Because, man, I was tearing my spot up trying to find them things. And they were nowhere in sight. So, um, I even found a big bottle. Look at this. I even found a big bottle of um, hand soap I had in here that I could put in my, uh, my pump at home. So, yeah, I'm just taking out a couple little things um, that I know I'm going to need. As the weather gets warmer, I got some laundry detergent in here too, and a bee just flew on my dag on unit. Get out! Um, as you know, it's getting warmer. I got some laundry detergent in here too, but I don't like it. Like my skin's so sensitive. Um, 
I can't really use it like that. So it's a big old bottle too. It's just sitting in here. We are in the kitchen making some brunch, okay? Let me show y'all what I am working on. These are my potatoes. They look so bomb. They have a very nice aroma. <laughs> and I cannot wait to taste them. Y'all know usually I would do my potatoes in the oven with um, olive oil, Italian seasoning, rosemary, and butter. But today, I'm making them like this. Um, with just some cut up onion and I season them with just black pepper seasonal and some garlic powder Now I did want to add green pepper in here, but um, I sent Aiden in the store He bought me like a jalapeno pepper instead of a um, bell pepper. So we did without that But I think they're gonna still be really really good. So um, I'm just gonna do oh, I forgot I had my back burner on so we're just gonna do some eggs, which I already have stirred up here and um, just some turkey acra sausage for brunch. And then for lunch, I'm gonna do um, a grilled chicken salad with some spinach. Let me tell y'all. So I bought these just the other day. Somebody decided to put them in the refrigerator <laughs> instead of in the drawer area of the refrigerator and they froze and I know they're gonna be soggy so I just bought a new uh, pack of that today. Um, I did a little bit of laundry. I had to go wash my bed sheets and I have some more laundry to do to prepare for the kids. Um, the kids going to school for the week or whatever. So I have to get that done today. Then I gotta do my hair. Cause I do got some content that I do need to um, finish up. I started this reel on my boutique business page. Um, and I never, I haven't gotten a chance to finish it because two things at the time, my hair wasn't the way that I wanted it to be. And, um, once I left the, the initial in, um, area where I started that, which was in the hotel, I didn't really have like the right background that I wanted to fulfill the real. Cause I mean, that matters. Your, the background, I, I just don't like when I see reels that just look like, in somebody's room that's not like aesthetically pleasing or you know i just don't like that type of content especially when it represents my brand and my brand is based off of fashion i wanted to do it outside this is, it's literally like a 10 second clip um probably not even that that needs to be done in a nice area but i don't know if outside is really the the background for that either so if time allows me today, I'm going to go to um, a hotel and I'm going to use their lobby area because it is very nice and try to just finish the filming there. Um, if I can't do it today, then I'm just going to have to either get to it tomorrow or find a different place to do it today because I really just would like to finish it and just see how it produces my biggest thing now is really putting out the content for my store um it, it's going to take a little bit more than just posting pictures for me to attract the customers that i want and to um attract the sales so i'm just trying to get really creative or a lot more creative in my um in my marketing so i want to get a couple of those reels done before my next um, meeting with my coach, which is usually on Tuesdays, unless she changes it to something that she needs to permit her schedule, you know, but it's typically, um, on Tuesday. So I want to have something for her to review something so that I can say, okay, when I did this, this didn't work or this did work. So what do we do next? You know what I mean? Like I can't really get a good amount of feedback if I don't have anything to be fed back on. <laughs> so, we're working on that today or over the next day, but my hair is getting done today because my hair is a, is a problem. Like, if it's not 
I don't mind wearing a ponytail, you know, but uh, for certain looks, you know, you just you just know what goes with what outfit you have. Certain hairstyles look better with certain outfits. And I just wanted to have it down, kind of like in a bob image, even though my hair is like grown out of the bob stage, but I just want to have it just sleek, straight, part in the middle. For this particular, um, I feel like that's like a neutral hairstyle for all of the looks that my boutique um, carries. So I'm going to go with that. Then I would like to go out to Ross today and try to find a pair of new uh, strappy sandals or preferably that, but um, maybe a pointy toe uh, pump or something. I'm going to try Ross and then I'm going to try, it's like a couple of shoe stores in the area. I cannot think of that one, but I used to go there all the time. Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a couple of different things today, so. All right, so here is the food. I don't know if I'm angling this properly, but um, potatoes, so delicious. Eggs and a nice ecra sausage. Yes, yeah, August. Yeah, you, mom. you want me to show you a plate? Lord, here's August plate. He has the same thing as Aiden. His potatoes, his eggs, and his sausage. And a water guy beside it for decoration. Okay? Okay, so long, let me tell y'all what all just happened. So I made our brunch, we ate or whatever, right? And <laughs> and um, I decided that I wanted today, you know, today's the 14th, so tomorrow is the last day of the um, Sephora Beauty Insider sale. So, you know, um, it's like tears, so... Certain people get 10%, certain people get 15, 20, whatever. And then it's 30% yeah, off of Hi. all of the um, the Sephora collection um, for all insiders. So I decided I'm going to go in there and order. It was this cologne I wanted to get for aid and we tried it out in um, Dillard's. But they didn't have it for um, pickup in store. Normally what I do is... I don't shop in stores because my, not in that store because my kids are too wild, they're too loud, they, they knock stuff over, they think it's funny. So what I normally do is I will order um, online and I pick up in store. So I it takes about two hours, sometimes a little bit more. Um, and I think I may have missed the mark today by just a little bit because you gotta have it in by four and I think I got mine in by 4.03. Um, just trying to make last minute decisions or whatever. So I had got a couple of things for my skincare, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it today, but the cologne, I'll definitely have to either go to a uh, um, location that's about 30 minutes out, or I'm just gonna have to order it online and get it um, in the mail. So we'll see in regards to that, um, how the cologne half works. And I did put my order in for my stuff for today and I'm hoping I get it because I like to start doing my my nighttime skincare routine that I don't that is non-existent for me. I know it's really important to do um uh you know your skincare at night because that's when you're you know like your skin is resting, it's rejuvenating, it's rebuilding itself, and it's really good to have on like the best of the best products, eye creams and things like that at night so that when you have a season, your body starts to do its wonderful natural things you know those products that they're assisting and helping and bringing the best out of your skin so i'm hoping i can get it tonight if not i'll have to wait tomorrow i don't know how petty they are if three minutes is really that big of a deal for them but it's sunday they do close at six and um i'll just see what the email says so yeah wish me luck <laughs> so we are at sephora now um, there's another young, lovely woman walking by with her bag from the sale. <laughs> but y'all, I am so glad because I did not think that they were going to fulfill the order because I was three minutes late. I was like, they probably gonna be patty, make me wait, whatever. It was ready by five o'clock. Normally they take a long time to fill them. Like it take the two hours they say it's gonna take. It takes that whole two hours, sometimes plus some. So. With it taking less than an hour, I was so happy. I was so happy. But 
So I sent Aiden in doing my normal routine. As you can see, August is screaming because he wanted to go as well. Um, but no, because they be too loud. They knock us. It's just too much. And that's not that kind of store for you to go in doing all of that. Like that stuff is very expensive. And you going in knocking down a bottle of three hundred dollar perfume or something, you gonna be working at Sephora to pay it off because I'm definitely not paying it off. So um, yeah, I just can't. I just I I had brought them in there before, but it's just it's too much. So um, yeah, I just prefer. I'm thankful for the the curbside method or the order online pick up in store method because it just works so much better for somebody with my current lifestyle maybe one day i'll be able to bring them in and i have to worry or like when i come back i could shop when they're at school or something you know so okay so leaving sephora um i got my stuff but I guess they do things differently than they do online in store or whatever because um i did get a sample you know how to give you like a free sample with your order and i got this but i didn't want this i don't even use this brand i had bought it before but um i think i returned it or something because i didn't realize it had like um skull heads on the the container and I'm very, 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 um, like that's a, that type of stuff matters to me. I don't want anything that represents skulls, death, demons. Like I just don't, I just don't. When I realized that it had that on it, I just returned it. Well, I may have even throw it in the trash. I don't even remember, but nonetheless, I just don't buy that brand, um, personal preference or whatever. But, um, so I'm like, okay, it's not a big deal because it's a sample. So I'll just, I had Aiden run back in there and get, um, asked for something else. And I had showed them the pictures of like some samples that you could pick with your online orders or whatever. And they told him they didn't, that I had to pay for it. And because that was free, it, like just some, all this stuff. And I'm like, um, all of these are samples. So either he went in there and said something silly or they just were acting slow or maybe they thought that he was trying to actually get like a big bottle of what was there like i i don't know but um because they was telling him he had to order it i'm like order okay so my phone cut off so yeah now i got so much little stuff like i'm gonna do a separate video i think um of what i purchased i think and if i decide not to i'll just include it in one of my vlogs but so now i'm going into harris teeter again because i i want to have a pot roast for dinner um i know it's kind of late in the day it's like six o'clock to be making a pot roast but i just want a pot roast i'm just in a mood for a pot roast so i'm gonna just make one all right so back home let me show y'all what we picked up was gonna do another video for this stuff, but this is kind of like a small haul, so I didn't do a lot of shopping. All right, so here's to the grocery shopping. I got this Northland's um, blueberry, blackberry, acai drink, very good. These popcorn is in the white cheddar that they eat in like tomorrow. These, they're vegan. I think these are vegan too. Not sure, but these are vegan. Not as good as I thought. This was a blind buy. I just saw it, thought I would like it, and they not even all that. Um, it's Twix, which I already ate in the car. <laughs> Aiden picked these up for himself because he's some. He's trying to make himself some lemon pepper nuggets. Apparently, he know how to cook now, or trying to learn how to cook. Um, these sausages. I got two of these. So I like to put them in my spaghetti, um, along with the ground turkey. Another thing in ground turkey, just in case the one I took out went bad. I don't know why I'm thinking it went bad, but maybe my mom was just playing tricks on me because it ain't even been out, but for like two days. And it was frozen when I put it in the bottom of the refrigerator. And I keep my fridge on coldest, so yeah. So this, um, a pot roast that I was going to make, but I decided I'm not going to make this roast tonight. 
It's not like a real thick one, but it's okay for the four of us, you know? Then I got this um, iceberg lettuce because I am going to just go ahead and make some chalupas tonight instead of the, um, what you call it? What is it? The, uh, the roast. I got a honeydew that I need to chop up. And it's a nice size melon too. <coughs> then I got a bag of organic onion. The um, chalupa packet. I actually have two, two of those. I got the cheese we're going to need for that. Some sour cream. I was going to get some um, sauce, but I got a pear. I don't need really use sauce. Some carrots. This is for the, um, the roast. I have tomatoes that I'm going to cut off the bun and put in my chalupa. And I got some Chobani Greek yogurt in the vanilla flavor. I bought a thing of foil for my rose and for whatever else I need for. And then another bag of tomato, tomatoes, potatoes. But I got it in the, um, I got the russet ones and I'm gonna put these in the rose and probably could use them for whatever else as well. And yeah, I think that's all. That's all that I had got from Paris Teeter. Um, by the way, this is what book I'm reading now. It's by Myron Gold, and I bought two of his books a few weeks ago. And um, I finished one. It was called From the Trash Man to the Cash Man. And now I'm on to Boss Moves. Boss stands for Business Optimization Success Secrets. So from a million dollar round table. So I'm gonna see what this is all about, but this is what I've moved on to. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading lately, so my life is about to change. My life is about to change. So even more than it already has, you know? So from Sephora, honey, the first thing that I got were, <laughs> were these hand masks, okay? These are with wild mango butter, and they are ingredients from natural orange, 95% ingredients from natural orange or whatever that means. Um, they hydrate, you wear them for 15 minutes, and you get 80% more hydration 30 minutes after your application. So I actually got four of these. You know, Sephora is having their um, annual savings event. So I pr they're not really even that expensive, but all of the Sephora collection was 30% off. So I got more than I normally would have gotten um, in one purchase. Turn that off. So these are the hand masks. Cause you know, we gotta keep these things nice and moisturized, hydrated. Then I got some Quenching and relaxing foot mask and the lavender extract. Um, same thing, 95%, oh, 71% more hydration after 30 minutes. And you just uh, wash your feet, dry them, put this on, and leave them on for 20 minutes. And then you just rub the rest of it in. And I actually got four of those as well. So I'm going to be able to do a lot. I love to do these on like the weekends. So I got quite a bit of those. Then I got the face mask. I have um, it in the mattifying pore targeting. This is in the, what is the, what, oh, matcha tea. So this is the matcha tea extract. I have two matchas. Come on. And then I have um, two of the moisturizing and glowing ones. And then these are in the leche extract. So I'm gonna try and see which one I like the best. Um, the last time I bought these, I got them in, I believe the coconut, um, which I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about the ones on my face, to be honest, because I know that my skin is so sensitive. <laughs> the ones on my hands and my feet, I don't really see how I can go wrong with those, but my face is very, very sensitive. So, um, 
I'm gonna just try and see. I know I had a coconut foot mask, but we'll see how these do. I think they should be fine though. So all together I have 12 masks for hands, feet, and um, face. The next thing I got is this eye cream. I got the Sephora brand eye cream. Cause like I said, all the Sephora items were 30% off for um, Beauty Insider. So if you're a Beauty Insider member, um, you got 30% off of everything that was Sephora brand. So this is probably, I feel like this is my first um, eye cream purchase. I don't recall like really ever buying eye cream before. But eye cream is really good for um, hydration around your eyes and to prevent like crow's feet. So I got this really small 0 0.667 ounce size because literally it's just going to go just pat around your eyes and in the corners, especially right, right, around the, right here around your eye and then underneath. So I figure it's time for me to start. Um, increasing my products. This is just like a starter. I really want to get the Tatcha products. The Tatcha is like very, very, very. Um, you ha you gotta when you go to buy Tatcha, you gotta come with at least six hundred dollars because if you're gonna get everything Tatcha, yeah, probably even a little bit more than six hundred. So that's where I would like to go to eventually. But right now, I'm using. Some of the Sephora brand, which I'm just really starting to try. I never even used their eye cream or their facial products before. But I've been using um, Use to the People for quite some time. And I did get this Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. So this is my um, night, kind of like my night cream type of thing um, that I'm going to be using on my face. Again, I got a really small container, a 0 0.5 ounce one, because I'm just going to be using very little of this at night when um, I'm going to sleep to kind of like rejuvenate, refresh, you know, all of the things. Like I said, your body is doing such wonderful things at nighttime and the best time to use your best products is really at night <clears throat> before you go to bed. So um, I'm giving this one a shot. If I love it, I'm definitely buying the bigger jar because like I said, it's just worth the investment to have like really great skincare products especially when um you're getting older like I, it won't be long until i hit 40 years old so yeah i want to have the, the things that are going to make me continue to look youthful and amazing all right and then the last thing i got is a super volcanic pore clay mask um i don't have a brush though so i'm kind of concerned because i don't want that stuff going all in my nails or whatever but this is a um 100 ml a 3.38 foot ounce size and this is what the container look like. It's by in this free. I believe that's how you say the brand. And it literally looks like clay. So um, I'm gonna put this on and you know, just cock my feet up, maybe with a fake foot mask on or something. And then I'll um, Rinse it off, moisturize. I'm actually going to use this tonight. I think I'm going to go live on Instagram tonight and do my, my nighttime routine because I don't have a nighttime routine. And I kind of, I heard somebody else talking about how they don't really do good with their nighttime routine and take care of their skin at night because that's when they really, you know, they want to work on their reparative stuff. They want their skin to be looking amazing and they don't do any nighttime care. So they feel like that's why their skin isn't popping like they would want for it to be. And I was like, yeah, that's my problem too. I don't really do a nighttime skincare routine, you know, and I sh really should. So, yeah, tonight we're going to be using all of these um, along, of course, with my cleanser, my exfoliator, my toner, all of that stuff. So, it's probably going to be like a six product um, routine for tonight. And then tomorrow night, it'll probably be more like. Um... All right, so. My phone cut off, y'all. I don't even remember what I was <laughs> what I was saying, but I'm wrapping this vlog up. It's going it's over the course of quite a few days. So just for the record, in case you're the type of person that cares about date and all that kind of thing. Um today is Sunday, April 14th. Um, at least this portion of the vlog is Sunday, April 14th. So 
go to Sephora, y'all, if y'all can. Um, the sale ends tomorrow at 11.59 online. And of course, I think the store closes at 8 o'clock. So if you can go in there and get you a little um, beauty insider discount, you probably won't be able to get like rouge and all of that because you just, if you're just going to join, that is. Uh, but if you already been joining whatever level you under your minimum, you'll get at least 10% off of uh, like major brands like this. And then 30% um, off all the Sephora items. So go check it out. And um, yeah, that's going to conclude this vlog. See y'all in the next one. Remember, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do so. And look at me kicking the tripod. And if you um, haven't already checked out the memberships, make sure you do that as well so you can get exclusive content um, that only my members get to see. So go ahead and check that out as well. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.